Hi, this is Matt from TPSTool.com. I'm going to go over our TPS Tool Pro Meter, uh, show you how to connect the meter, uh, what some of the features are, uh, explain how to connect to your throttle body and what to do if you get funny readings, and hopefully answer any questions you might have before you have to ask them. So let's get started. Uh, on the meter, we'll look at the top of the meter. On the far left is the replaced battery light. If that light comes on, it means your battery needs to be replaced to ensure you get good readings. We've got the ground, feedback, and 5 volt connectors, and these are separate instead of in a single plug because that makes the meter a lot more flexible. This way you can rewire essentially the connectors um, just by moving the wires around and it makes the meter work for all kinds of different motors. And then of course the power switch. We include with the kit a handful of adapters. Uh, some of these adapters are, we, we pick the adapters that work uh, for most of the power sports motors we could find. Um, Kawasaki, Yamaha, KTM, Polaris, uh, Arctic Cat, um, all kinds of, we try to include an adapter for all the most common, all the most common uh, throttle position sensors. If you happen to have one that the adapters don't fit, please let us know. Um, alternatively, you can also make like a generic one. And in this case, I've taken some of these adapters. These are on Amazon for a few bucks. Uh, there's a number if you want to make one of these yourself. Um, just cut the end off and, and with these, you can plug individually into the pins in a throttle position sensor, such as this one. Uh, you can just plug them individually there we go. And plug one, two, three, and then you can just plug this in any way you need to into the meter. And that way it works with basically any throttle position sensor you could find anywhere, uh, as long as it requires three wires and, uh, and works on five volts. Let's talk about how to connect this thing. Um, if you're wondering why this one's so long, it's because we discovered uh, a lot of the motors that use this plug, it's more difficult to get to the throttle position sensor, so we just gave you some extra room. Uh, let's use our KTM throttle body here as an example. Now if you've got a KTM, KTM just happens to be a brand where this is really popular. It works equally well on the other brands. Um, but pretty much all the 500cc and under KTM motocross and off-road bikes are going to be wired this way, which is uh, the black is going to go into the ground, uh, the green is going to go into 5 volts, and the red is going to go into the, the FB of the feedback. Um, other brands, uh, noticeably a lot of the Polaris, the ground and the 5 volts would be reversed, so you put the black in the 5 volts and the green in the ground. And I'll show you what happens, how to determine if you've got it wrong. It's real easy. Um, so all you do is, is connect the meter like this. And for our KTM, we'll plug in here. And you'll see I've got something very reasonable, 0.43 at idle. And as I open the throttle, the number goes up. That shows I've got it correct. Okay, now if you had something wrong, uh, for example, if I had the black and the green reversed, such as on a Polaris. Maybe I've got a Polaris and, and I read the wrong directions and plug this in the wrong way. Uh, what's going to happen, it's not going to hurt anything first, so don't worry. Um, but I'm showing 4.5 volts, 4.5 at idle, which is off the charts. So that's obviously wrong. And when you open the throttle, it goes down instead of up. So that right there is a big hint. Okay, I've probably got the, uh, the ground and the 5 volts reversed. So in that case, we'd swap these and everything will be back to normal. Um, another common issue is uh, some guys won't read the directions. And they'll say, oh, red must be 5 volts. So they'll stick the, oops, stick the red in the, in the 5 volt plug and stick the green in the feedback. And then what you get is also a big number, 4.1 at idle, which is huge. Um, but when you open the throttle, it's gonna go up even higher. And so that right there is a hint that you've got the, uh, the five volts and the feedback backwards. So these are you know, obviously wrong numbers. Four, four volts at idle is huge. I don't think you could do that with a properly functioning throttle body, even if you tried. Um, so if you've got it wrong, or if you're getting funny values, uh, a couple things you can do. Feel free to send us an email. We'll help you out as best we can. You can always look in your manual. It'll tell you uh, which wire in your harness is ground feedback and 5 volts. Um, or it'll take you just a minute. There's only so many combinations. You can just move the wires around until you get you know, a, a reasonable number at idle. And then if you get a reasonable number at idle, and if the number goes up when you open the throttle, then that's pretty much it. That's pretty much correct. So it's, it's pretty straightforward. Um, no tricks there. Uh, if you're interested in how everything works, um, the throttle position sensor is actually really simple. I'll post a link below to a video explaining uh, exactly how it works. Um, inside and out, take one apart, show you how it works. There's also some links below showing how to use this on a real motor and how to get things tuned up. Um, so I hope that helps. Please post comments below and let us know if you have any questions, concerns. If you have a plug type that we don't have, please let us know and we can help you any way we can. Thanks a lot.